Now what is the question like? It says dice is thrown twice. So there is a dice which is thrown two times and sum of numbers is observed to be four. So dice is there which is thrown two times. You know how many sample spaces and how many possible cases are there. What is probability that the number two has appeared at least once? So this is a question which involves the knowledge of a dice. So one dice, six possible outcomes. Two dice, 36 possible outcomes that you know. Now, let A and B be two different events. Let A denote sum of numbers is observed to be 4. And let B be an event which shows the number 2 has appeared at least once. Now what does this word at least means? At least means that 2 has appeared one time, okay, more than one which means two times in this case also possible. At least means minimum one time the number 2 has occurred. It can be more than one time also. Since there are two dice, on both the dice you can get 2. Now let's see what are the cases which can come in the event A. So for event A, what can happen? Sum of numbers should be 4 means what cases can happen? 2 plus 2 will give you 4, 1 plus 3 will give you 4, 3 plus 1 will also give you 4. Any other cases possible? No. Because there is no such case as 4 comma 0 because 0 does not appear on any one of the dice. These two cases are different. I hope you know that. First die shows 1. Here first die shows 3. Now for event B, number 2 has appeared at least once means 2 should appear. So 2 1, 2 2, 2 3, 2 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 2 has appeared at least once, right? Here 2 has appeared more than one times, even we can take that. And what else? 1, 2 can also come. Similarly, 3, 2 can also come. 2, 2 we have already taken. Similarly, 4, 2 can also come. 5, 2 can also come. And 6, 2 can also come. 2 has appeared at least once. Now, how many cases are there here? The number of cases in A are 3. How many cases are there here? The number of cases in B are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, we are supposed to find the conditional probability. See, we were already known that it has been observed that it is 4 means the event A had already occurred, we are supposed to find out probability of B upon A. Which means intersection will be upwards. Now intersection, if you see that only this is common. So intersection is 1 over A should be downwards. How many are there under A? 3. So 1 over 3 should be the answer. See how we compute? You definitely know the formula. One uh, step is missing, you have to write the formula, only then you can find the answer to this question. Now, if the examiner does not give you 4 here, he gives you 6. And here he gives you 4. That 6 and 4 is in your NCERT books. You can easily do by the same methodology.